I first met Roy Bratz at the NCRS Bend Argon Meet in 1980 or 1982. He was NCRS member at 182, a very early participant. In the NCRS chat room, Roy had more than 3,400 messages. I've not read them all, but there was very little fluff. He made many contributions to the 53 to 5 miles, especially 55, as well as other areas where he had expertise. Roy had a beautiful copper 55 with many period authentic GM accessories, like wire wheels, vacuum ashtray, tissue dispenser, and hardtop. And he shared his knowledge and passion of 55 freely. In August 2010, Roy broke the rule of leaving the Bend, Oregon Corvette show field display about a, one and a half hours before the 5 p.m. dismissal. Since Roy could not reply on the NCRS chat room, he apologized for leaving early on another chat room. He didn't complain. He didn't bash the NCRS. He lamented that he could not participate in the new revisions of the 1955 judging manual that he was asked to assist with. After Roy was permitted to participate in the NCRS chat room again, he used that occasion to announce he was letting his membership expire. Apparently that notice was a big no-no to the NCRS leadership. Thereafter, the identification below Roy's name was banned or expired. I know Roy was crushed. He bled for Corvettes and by the NCRS by extension. In 2019, Roy passed on to the Lord Jesus. You can see a link to his obituary in the description below. All that time from letting his membership expire in 2010 to 2019, NCRS continued to identify him as banned or expired. In March 2021, two years after Roy passed, the NCRS still identified him as banned or expired. So I wrote a long email to the president of the NCRS, Mike Ingram, stating that it was disgusting that Years after Roy was dead and buried, he still bore those titles. Is that repugnant? Is that vengeful? As has happened several times before, when I email or snail mail Gary Mortimer, or Gary Chestnut, they never replied or they never accepted the letter. Apparently, their decisions are above reproach. It's been almost a year and I'm still waiting for a reply from President Ingram. The appellation of banned has been removed from Roy's ID, but he's still identified as expired. Interestingly, there are many other dead and buried NCRS members that are not identified as expired. Methinks this is a malicious, cruel slap. Don't you dare say you're letting your membership expire. Various definitions are supplied for the terms banned and expired from an NCRS administrator, an NCRS moderator, and the NCRS IT developer. According to these officials, their meanings differ, and it's just too difficult or impossible to change. In my pedestrian view, some of these NCRS officials are very vindictive. If you don't subscribe to their religion 110%, you'll be punished. Remarkably, if you contribute money to the NCRS and you're an embezzler of club funds or a convicted car thief, you'd be welcome, especially if you donate that money. Let me know what you think in the comments. Incidentally, I was member 2473, joined in 1979, and I'm also banned or expired, and I'm still awaiting that reply from President Ingham.